This presentation reviews ordinary multiple regression. This brief presentation was organized by Dr. Olemi. A key assumption of regression is that errors have a normal distribution. This is not always correct. Ordinary regression assumes that the error term is normally distributed. This can be visually depicted in normal probability plot or normal quintile plots. In these plots, quintiles of the observed data are plotted against quintiles in a standard normal distribution. Here we see an example. A normal distribution is symmetric. In contrast, this plot shows a long asymmetric tail for the density of residuals. If it was normally distributed, we would uh, see a symmetric density function. The QQ plot to the right also shows radical departure from normality. A quick look shows that the quantiles do not fall where normal distribution quantiles are expected along the 45 degree line. Clearly, assumptions of normal distribution of error is not reasonable for this data. A key assumption of regression is that observations are independent of the, each other. This is not always correct. Autocorrelation among the observations can identify dependence in the observations. The y-axis shows the correlation. The x-axis shows the lag in the data. A lag of 2 means that variables two time periods away from each other were correlated. In this graph, we see that variables with lag of 1 through 30 have relatively small correla correlations with each other. Therefore, it may be reasonable to assume that observations are independent. Regression assumes that the standard deviation of observations does not change over the independent variables. The violation of homoscedasticity assumption is called heteroscedasticity. It refers to the situation where standard deviation of the sample changes over time. Heteroscedasticity can be detected by plotting residuals over time or over any of the independent variables. If the dispersion of residuals is increasing or decreasing, then the assumption may be violated. This figure shows a situation where residuals are increasingly becoming larger as values of independent variable increases. The plot of residuals over time suggests that the variation in residual is changing over time. We are getting less accurate over time. The QQ plot also shows violation of normal assumptions. The variance of the error terms has increased over time. A key assumption of regression is that the model form is correct and only parameters of the model need to be estimated from the data. This is not always correct. If the linearity assumption is met, then you would expect to see a linear relationship between y and independent variables. Here we see a plot of y against x that seems to suggest a linear relationship between them. This is not always the case. Here we see a nonlinear relationship between regression and the dependent variable. Here again we see another nonlinear relationship. The true relationship here is exponential. Here again we see another nonlinear relationship. The shape of the diagnostic plots can tell us whether the linearity assumption is met. The easiest way to see this is through the xy plots, such as qq plot may not al also be necessary to see the violations of linearity assumption. If the relationship between dependent and independent variables are not linear, then data should be transformed before completing the regression. If the dependent variable is a function of a constant to the power of the independent variable, then log of the dependent variable would be linearly related to the independent variable. The left-hand side shows the relationship between y and x before transformation. It's not linear. 
the right hand side shows the same relationship but now between log of y and x now it's linear this example shows the importance of transforming the data before doing a linear regression if the independent variable is a function of independent variable taken to a power then a log of the dependent variable will be linearly related to the log of the independent variable. The left-hand side shows the relationship between y and x before transformation. It is not linear. The right-hand side shows the same relationship now between log of y and log of x. Now it is linear. This example shows the importance of transforming the data before doing a linear regression. If the dependent variable is a function of 1 divided by a linear function of independent variables, then 1 divided by y is linearly related to the independent variable. The left-hand side shows the relationship between y and x before transformation. It is not linear. The right-hand side shows the same relationship between the inverse of y and x, now linear. In practice, the relationship between x and y is not known. It may make sense to fit several different equations to the data so the linearity of the data can be assumed. Excel can be used to create a scatter plot. In scatter plot, a trend line equation can be fitted to the data. Polynomial power, logarithmic, and exponentials are all examples of trend lines that can be fitted to the data within Excel. Once the best fitted line has been determined, then the right transformation of the data can be established. To use ordinary regression, verify assumptions and transform the data.